This is a I only touch greatness remix. Scan the code and follow. We heard some before they show. before they going yeah. over the shows. Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking yeah. about. I'm talking about no. This this this, this is the kind of rehearsal I'm talking about. We're talking about like like when me and the Forty Thieves used to rehearse, or when me and the Mass Sober used to rehearse, bro. Every last single thing that we did, we rehearsed every fucking step. Like, mm -hmm. we would say, okay, on this part of the song, I want you to be on this part of the stage. Um, mm -hmm. On this song, I want you to fade to the back, do a little side step, nigga, and then run and do one of your, one of your fucking commando flips. Like, Doug, like, we, we, used to, we used to rehearse, bro, like, hardcore, bro. Like, with me and the 40 Thieves, like, we knew, we knew, okay, you come in on this part and back me up on, like, that, like, we just knew each other's shit so well that I, 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 I knew when I could catch a breath. Because mm -hmm. I, I, they knew when to come in. Like, he always run out of breath right here. So, Bob, we come in and, and back up on these words. Like, we, we, wasn't, we wasn't that kind of crew that just go out there and everybody be hollering and walking around on stage with a fucking towel on their shoulder and a fucking water in their hand. And niggas is all hollering. And we never wrapped over the words. Never. Never. Ever wrapped over the words, bro. Ever. Where did you where did where did you two meet? Me and me, me and Mimi? Yeah. We actually met. Well, we, we met through this motherfucker right here. That's calling me. Hold on. We met through DJ Lexo. <laughs> okay. DJ Lexo. Hey, shout out to DJ Hold Lexo. Hey. Call back. So we'll get back to it's your career. Oh, huh? Look at that right there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> he said, he said, he had to just show the butt, huh? He just had to show, oh, hey, well, at least we know who his person is on big, big, big dress on his ass. Instagram. You must be asking. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Was it the booty? They got it, or was it her person now? Okay. Hey, talk about your time on, uh, the question for both the eight. You guys were on the show. You guys were on the show together. Love bowls. Can we talk about that? <laughs> What's up, guys? I was just doing an interview and I was talking about you. So I answered the phone. Look, say, 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 what's up, say what's up to the homies. Uh, uh, you ever heard of OTG? OTG. I O I O T G. But the camera's over there. Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up with you, Lex? What up? What up? What up? That's that's what that's up? OG. Hey, that's OG DJ Lexo. See motherfucking you. Las Vegas. That's Las Vegas finest. That's that's one of the first hip hop DJs in Las Vegas right there. Yeah. Really? Maybe, maybe, maybe the greatest, the greatest hip hop DJ Las Vegas ever seen right, right. there. Hey, it's an honor, King. Honor. It's an honor. Honor with y'all. Now much, now much. Talk to the holy coolie. We talking to him. Hey, Lexo. Lexo, tell them the short, tell them your tell them the short version of your story real quick, Lexo. I don't know how I'm feeling feeling we on a podcast right now. Hey, I didn't do my hair either. And you can see me. I'm West Coasting it out for y'all, man. With the skull and everything. Oh baby, what's better the other way? No, uh, no I'm not because I can see it's him. Hold on, wait, I'm trying to fix it. Um, okay. You're right. Lexo, where you at? Right here. <laughs> okay, there you go. You, you see, King? Yeah, you do it. Mm. I can't see. Exactly how I had it. You know what? The angle of like that. There you go. Now try it now. Yeah, y'all fucking right there. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so you started you started DJing at a club where five motherfuckers got killed. I started, I started as a club promoter, and then I started DJing at a club. Where I was uh, subleasing a kitchen. Who taught you? Who taught you how to scratch, Lexo? Uh, one dude named DJ Winjay. DJ what? 
DJ Wind Jam passed Ooh. away two years ago. Wow, he passed. Okay, so I hear that, man. So what was the first? What was your first real gig? Your first real gig where you where you got paid over over five hundred? Um, it was the Rock the Mic tour after party. Okay, all right. Okay. And, and your and your best year, your best year, your best year in hip hop. Huh? What was your what was your net? My best year, yeah. before prison or after prison? It don't matter. What sort before. of before? Before prison, probably like like a hundred. Okay, hundred hundred racks. And what and, 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 and your what, what was your what was your average throughout the years? What what was your average that you made every year? I mean, it, it climbed up, but it was about a hundred right before I went away. Okay, all right, there you go. You see, that's and that's a hell of a thing right there, bro. But, but when you started, how much would you make? Would you DJ for free? Oh hell yeah, we all DJ. Everyone DJs for free when they start. Okay, when you first your first the first time getting paid, how much you make? Well, like fifty bucks or a hundred bucks. Like fifty, man. My my the cold part was. And I started, it was uh, like 50, and then it went up to 100. But the beautiful part was, I'm a hustler. So it was like, look, we're going to let you bring a backpack in. And since I was already selling weed in the club, I was like, shit, I can bring hella weed in the club with a backpack. So I was making like 2500 at night, but I was going to get 100 to DJ. That's right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, thank you, Lex. So that's a beautiful story, brother. <laughs> The motherfuckers could get inspired by that shit. You ain't gotta, you ain't you, you ain't gotta always be getting paid, super paid, but you figure out the way to make your money, right? Always, always. Sorry, Shaka Zulu, I'm gonna call you back in a minute. Hold yeah, on. I'll call you back when we're done, okay? All right. All right. That was that was that was that was that was Las Vegas finest DJ Lexo, man. And I, oh, the reason why I did that, the reason why I did that, because I knew I knew the I, I didn't know what he was gonna say. But I knew he was gonna tell one of them kind of stories to show you that it I ain't all, it ain't always about it ain't always about what it is, it's about how it is. You know what I mean? That's fair. And yeah. and don't worry, I this is not live anywhere. So anything you guys want edited out, I'm gonna be editing it anyway. Well, you ain't gotta out. edit out shit, bro. We okay. not doing nothing. We ain't doing We real, we real with it. We real with it. That's right, we're not doing nothing illegal no more, so Right, uh, right. The statute, the statute of limitations are ran out on all that shit. Long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Right, get it all out. We ain't on no flash shit. We, ain't, <laughs> hey, we, we on some drink champ shit. Shout out to Noriega. This, this ain't motherfucking Vlad TV. I know that. Yeah. Right. 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 You, know, you know, criminal activities to make niggas go to jail and shit. No. Listen, I, I ain't talking about the news. I, I ain't doing nothing illegal any motherfucking way. So I ain't ready right. to kick my dough in. I ain't gonna find. And I ain't gonna ask you. And they better fix my goddamn door when they do that, too. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah, that's, they be saying they doing some shit. I hate when police do that shit. Like, why the fuck you would kick my fucking door down, man? Come on. When you could have fucking knocked and I would have let you in. Right, I would let you in. Shit. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's how me and my Ooh, girl, shit. man. That's what I want to uh, know. Lexo, yeah. Lexo, 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 Lexo had a picture, had a picture of my girl on his phone. And I said, who is that? He said, that's my sister. I said, where's she at? Nigga, she's probably at work. I said, call her. Well, you can tell what, what happened after that. That's how we got together. We met at Wino Studio. Well, I don't remember none of that shit, so but, that don't count. Okay. She so, said, you know, y'all know who Wino is, right? Who? Wino. Wino? Wino? It sounds familiar. DJ Wino is my original producer. Oh, he produced, he produced Fantastic Voyage. He's the one oh, with the okay. big ass. Yeah, album. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, the Fantastic Voyage video. Yeah, 